Hello, it's Bud. Right now I'm working with the demo version of the 3D tools, but I thought I'd try to see what we can do with um, the Revolve tool. Um, we're just going to do some basic things, learn a little bit, so we can get an understanding of what kind of things we can do uh, one at a time. That's part one. So we're going to start with the screen. Uh, I'm going to make a circle because that's what the revolve is around as far as I understand it. Uh, and I'm going to make it 12 inches. Just to give me something to work with. And this is just a warning that I don't have the uh, full version yet. I'm going to start with a spline because I like the curves. And I'm just making a rudimentary thing right now. Double click on the end and accept. What I'm going to see here is if I want to make a dish or I want to make a wheel, uh, I can put whatever contour I want on it. And we'll come back to the revolve portion in, in a minute. What I want to do is I want to go to the pattern library I'm going to get rosettes. I'm going to get this four-pointed one and bring it in here. All right, what's going on? Okay, let's try it again here. There we go. And I'm going to highlight both of them. Hold down control, make sure to go get both of them highlighted. I'm going to center both of them just for sanity. And now I'm going to just bring this thing out here and if I change the perspective of this board I see that the rosette is flat but what I'm after is I'm after for some curly cues within the uh, top surface of the rosette so if I come up here to the merge on the rosette and make it additive I see now that my points on the rosette are curved to meet the contour of what I did with the revolve <coughs> and I think I need to go back and just explain a little bit here on this on the revolve just to, to make sure we have an understanding. The right hand white edge is actually the right hand edge of the circle. The left hand yellow edge is the center of the board. And then the contour is exactly the way I laid it out. If I want it a little more subtle or whatever I can change it here. Um, just to do what I want. The blues help me change the contour a little bit and yeah, see what that looks like. Click, accepts it. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. I can see the contour looks pretty good. So now let's just square it up so we know what we got going on. If I click on the rosette now, I, I could carve that just the way that looks. Um, but if I click on the rosette and do an outline, I get five paths. I get the outer and I get four inners. I'm not worried I, I don't want to deal with the four inners, so I'm going to hold down control, click on the outer path, and now I just have those four inners that I can throw away. Now I can come back to my outer path and assign a cutout. I'm going to flip it so it's on the outside. I'm going to hide it. 
and I'm going to accept it. And now I have my rosette with the variation in the uh, top surface. And that is the 3D Revolve Tool Part 1. I hope you enjoyed.